The following program is sponsored by Samuel Onuaha Ministries partners and viewers. Hello, this is me, Pastor Sam. I'm excited today. I believe that it's not by accident that you are watching this broadcast. I believe that God Almighty is the one that I've strategically positioned you because he has a word for you today. A word that is not just willing but able to transform your life and to give you your glorious inheritance. Today I want to talk to you about the blessings of Abraham. Galatians 3.13, the Bible says, Christ have redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause, for it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth on the tree, so that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might I receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. That anointing, you see, the blessing is the anointing. It is something that empowers you to succeed in every area and arena of your life. I'm telling you, I believe that something is going to be said today that is going to transform your life forever. I want you to get on the phone and call somebody and let them know that something good is about to be said. I want you to watch this and I'll be right back to speak into your life. How sinless night, Lord, I said favor to me. Visit it in the next 72 hours. Mm -hmm. God, bend down. Okay. But as we are praying now, the thing is gone. The thing just disappeared. Are you just looking like that? Two uh, hours. Two hours. Two hours to live. Rendu money near and now, near and good tongue. Ah, no. Testimony shall be permanent. I don't know what you're believing God to do in your life. I want you to know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We be praise uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see you traveling to nations of the earth. I see you going to places all over the world. I see you ministers of the gospel going on national and international television. Now stay tuned as Sam Anoha ministers to you and reveal to you the power of God that is able to change your life and bring you joy, peace, health, and supernatural abundance. Now get ready for God to touch you with his miracle working power. And here is your host, Sam Anoha. Praise the Lord and welcome back. I am so excited today. And uh, we are starting a series on the blessings of Abraham. Uh, the word of God is clear according to Galatians 3.13 that Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause. For it is written, cause is everyone that hangeth on a tree, so that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Before we go further, let's go before the throne of grace. Father, we give you praise today. We thank you for this great opportunity to, to preach your word. Praise God to this great audience today. Spirit of the living God, as your word goes forward, I pray today that you will stretch forth your hands and begin to walk wonders in the life of your people. You will do in their life today what man cannot do, and we vow to give you alone all the glory. Thank you for revelation from heaven. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit of God, for in Jesus' most precious, wonderful name we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Praise God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Amen. You know, uh, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause for it is written, causes every one that hangeth on the tree, so that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. There are two words I want you to pay attention to. Number one is the word curse, and then the word bless. See, that word cause is an empowerment to faith. Well, it is something that basically come on you. It's a force that the enemy put on you to fail in everything that you do. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever you start must fail. It has to fail. It's the spirit of failure. In, in other words, it's an empowerment. Sometimes you don't know why you fail, but you just fail. Things don't work out right for you. You know, difficulties and different things like that. It's an empowerment to fail. That is the word cause. And that's what Jesus redeemed us from so that we might have the blessings of Abraham. Now, the blessing is an empowerment to succeed. It's an empowerment to prosper. It is something God put on you 
to help you to do what your natural ability cannot do. In fact, it is the coat that Adam wore before the fall. I mean, that coat of glory, that, glo that, that anointing that was on him, he was able to name every single animal. He was very smart to name all the whole animal on the surface of the planet Earth. That coat that was on him. You know, when Adam said he was naked, it was that glory. That blessing left him. Praise God. So Christ has redeemed us from from the cause of the law, so that we might put on that coat by God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Woo, my God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost to, to put on that coat, that coat, that blessing, that anointing, that empowerment, that endowment, that God's supernatural ability he placed on you to do what your natural ability cannot do. You see people that did not even go to school that could hardly write their name or can even make a good English sentence and you see them prospering, multi-millionaires and billionaires. And you see people that have all the whole education in this world, know how to speak the best English, but they have nothing to show for why the difference is the blessing. It's an anointing. It's something that, it's, it's something that, that God put on you, you know, to do what your natural ability cannot do. And I'm telling you, I said that could come in on so many people right now watch it i feel it right now through the eyes of the spirit i see the coat of glory coming on you it is the anointing it's something that forces you to succeed it's something that makes you to prosper even when you don't want to prosper it makes you to prosper that's why the bible says in proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 it said the blessings of the lord it makes you rich and it adds no sorrow it makes you it it pushes you glory be to god it's that thing that wakes you up in the middle of the morning. It's that thing that wakes you up in the middle of the night. It's that thing that make you to thrive. It's that thing that make you make that call. It's that thing that make you go do stuff. You dear situation. You you know you start that business and you don't even have what it takes, but something is pushing you to make that call. Glory be to God. It's called the blessing. It empowers you to succeed. It empowers you to prosper. It makes you a success. Glory be to God. You see is the blessings of Abraham. It is very important as we go through the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse number 29, the Bible says that now that you are in Christ, I'm quoting from the Living Bible, now that you are in Christ, you are the true descendant of Abraham and all the promises that God made to Abraham belong to you. Now I want to pay, I want you to listen very carefully. We are not replacing the Jewish people. No, I'm not, we're not replacing them. But what, I, what is it saying? The same blessing that God gave to Abraham, the same promise Promises, praise the Lord, that God, you know, gave to Abraham belong to you and I, okay? God is not a respecter of any person, amen. So our assignment now is to go and begin to look at the promises and see how God blessed Abraham. Because in Galatians chapter 3, verse number 9, from the living Bible, the Bible says, we shall in the blessing. Glory be to God. We share in that blessing. That means whatever you see in Abraham, that thing's supposed to be happening in your life. If Abraham was broke, then you're supposed to be broke. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. If Abraham was rich, then you're supposed to be rich. Period. If Abraham lived long on earth, you're supposed to be, live long. If Abraham had good kids, your kids are supposed to be great. Praise God. So we are going to look. That's why, my good, you don't want to miss any of this broadcast because there's no how we're going to finish today. It's a continuous program. I'm telling you, God is going to talk to you right here. I see that coach coming on somebody right now. I see God giving you ideas, insights, and concepts. I see God. God making you a success. I'm telling you, by the way, this will be the greatest Christmas you've ever celebrated in your life. God is going to talk to you. He's going to show you what to do. That same blessing that was on Abraham is getting ready to follow you. But the Spirit of God just paused me right now. He says, son, I want you to quote Galatians 3.29 from the Message Bible. In fact, I can go ahead and give it to you. It said that we belong to Abrahamic famous family. We are part of the descendant of Abraham famous family. But let me read it from the Amplified, uh, from the Message Bible, Galatians chapter 3, verse 29 from the Message Bible. Look at what it says here. Praise God, glory be to God, hallelujah. It says here, praise God. It says, in Christ's family, praise God, hallelujah, I want to, 
I want, I want you to pay attention. He said, in Christ's family, there can be no division in, into Jew or non-Jew, slave and free, male and female. Among us, you are all equal. That is, we are all in a common relationship with Jesus Christ. Also, since you are Christ's family, then you are Abraham's famous descendant. Glory be to God. We are Abraham's famous descendant. Praise God. Hence, yes, according to the covenant promises, we are Abraham's famous descendant. Praise God. My goodness, listen to me. Whoo, the time is almost up. Listen, I, I want you to watch this and I'll be right back to give you a word that is going to make you dance. Watch this. To worship with us in Houston area, call for service time and venue at 1-877-324-8425 or visit our website at www.somin.org or inbox us on Facebook forward slash Sam Onuaha. Throughout the Bible, God demonstrates a supernatural favor towards his people. Exodus 33:13 reads, If you are pleased with me, teach me your ways, so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. To see the favor of God fully manifested in your life, get Pastor Sam's Walking in the Favor of God 24-7. The Lord wants to give you success, and this powerful teaching equips you to lay hold of the principles that will have you walking in the favor of God 24-7. The Bible says, And Jesus increased in wisdom, and in stature and in favor with God and man. When your wisdom increases, your status is going to change and your favor is going to increase. I believe that favor is one of the secrets of financial prosperity. Call 888-600-5466. That's 888-600-5466. Sow a seed into this worldwide outreach and Pastor Sam will bless your life. Call now. Praise the Lord and welcome back. I am so excited right now. Listen to me. I want you to call me today. Listen, I feel the anointing. I want you to call the number on the screen because I'm telling you, I want to connect with you. Listen to me. This blessing I'm talking about, this blessing is transferable. It's, it's, such, it's something so big. And I want to pray with you today. Listen to me because the blessing, you know, uh, redeem you from the cause of the law. And the Bible says in Galatians chapter, in, in, in Colossians chapter 1 verse 3, 13, that we have been translated from the power and control of darkness to God's glorious light. Praise God. I want you to call me right now. There are people right now, I'm telling you, as I was praying, the Spirit of God began to speak to me about this blessing and empowerment. There are people today, you are watching me, and I see this blessing coming on your business. I see this blessing coming on the work of your hand. The Lord said, I'm going to bless the work of your hand. If you are a business person watching me today, I want to come in agreement with you for your business. There is an anointing. There is an, there is an anointing on my life for this right now because God said, I will bless you. I will bless the work of your hand. There's something about the work of your hand. Praise the Lord. People, I don't care if you're, you're into construction. I don't care if you're into real estate. I don't care what it is. I just want to pray for somebody today that are into one, some kind of business. God is going to touch your hand. And I'm telling you, he's going to transform that business. He's going to turn it into a garden of Eden. By the way, I want to show you something. The reason I want you to call, and I want to, uh, please go ahead and put that telephone number. I want them to call today. If you have a business of any kind, because God is raising uncommon people that he want to empower. He want to empower you, praise God. It's not about what you have read. Thank God for your education. Thank God for what you study. But listen to me. The blessing is getting ready to get on that thing right now. God is going to transform your life. Whatever that, you, that is going on in your life, he's going to turn it into a garden of Eden. God is going to turn that business into a garden of Eden. That Eden blessing. As I was praying, I heard this, that is turning your business into a garden of Eden. I want to show you something from Isaiah chapter 51. It says, look unto Abraham your father. Isaiah 51, praise God. Isaiah chapter 51. It says, look unto Abraham your father. Look at it. It says, hearken to me, ye that Follow after righteousness, praise God. Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence you are hid, to the hole of the pit whence you are digged. 
Look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bear you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. For the Lord shall come for Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. And he will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness shall be found therein, thanksgiving and the voice of melody. This is God literally turning your waste into a garden of Eden. This is God turning something that looked dead. I'm talking to people today. You know, maybe your business is not producing the way you want it to produce. It looked like a wasteland. It looked like a, you're going through some kind of a wilderness experience. Listen, what the blessing does, he takes that situation and turn it around. He takes that wasteland and make it into a garden of Eden. I mean, that Eden blessing will begin to operate in your business again. I feel like the anointing, I feel this anointing right now to pray for business people today. That is an anointing on me. If you have a business, I don't care what you do for a living. I don't care if you're security, you have a business to deal with security guard. I don't care what that, I don't care if you just mow grass, uh, cut grass, whatever you do. I don't care if you're a business person, maybe even a doctor, you wanna own your own clinic or whatever, any business, you are an entrepreneur. I want to pray with you today because this is what I heard. God said, I am going to turn that around into an Eden blessing. The blessing of the Lord is going to get on your business like you have never seen before. Listen to me. You are about to prosper beyond your wildest dream. Remember the Bible says in the book of Ephesians 3, 20, it says, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above more than we can ever think or ask. Listen to me. I want you to call the number on the screen today because I want to come in agreement with you today. I want to release the prophetic word, glory be to God, over that business, praise God. I want you to call right now. Use your faith. Call that number on the screen right now and let's believe God for your business because I see God turning that into an Eden blessing, into a place where it, I mean, where it was try because what the blessing does, it empowers your business to thrive. It empowers it to succeed. You're going to begin to succeed. You will never know what is called loss again. Mark my word. Praise God. Praise God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Listen, I want to take a quick break. I want you to watch this and I'll be right back to speak into your life. Your days of poverty is over. Your days of barely making it is over. Your days of living from paycheck to paycheck is over. Your days of loss is over. From today, you're going to begin to experience the power of the blessing. I want you to watch this and I'll be right back. To worship with us in Houston area, call for service time and venue at 1-877-324-8425 or visit our website at www.somin.org or inbox us on Facebook forward slash Sam Onuaha. If you've been born again, then you've been born into a heritage of prosperity. God takes great pleasure in your prosperity because He is glorified when you prosper. Unfortunately, not all believers enjoy kingdom prosperity. Why? Because they do not know the universal laws of prosperity. Prosperity goes with is allowing God to get involved in your finances. And I believe God Almighty wants to get involved in your finances. I'm telling you, this is gonna bless your heart. The Bible says in Job 36, 11, that if to obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. The universal laws of prosperity is yours for your seed sown into this worldwide outreach. Call 888-600-5466. That's 888-600-5466. Get your copy today. To worship with us in Houston area, call for service time and venue at 1-877-324-8425 or visit our website at www.somin.org or inbox us on Facebook forward slash Sam Onuaha. Welcome back and uh, praise the Lord. I'm so excited. I want you to know today that the blessing is going to make you. 
Proverbs 10, 22, the Bible says, The blessings of the Lord, it make it you rich and it add no sorrow with it. It blessing make it you to prosper. It, there's something about the blessing that makes you. See, God don't just want to give you money. He doesn't just give you things. He make you, he give you the ability to, to, you know, to produce those things. That's why Deuteronomy 8, 18 says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that give thee the power to get wealth. Why? So that he, God, may establish his covenant on earth. Somebody you are watching me, the Lord is going to make something good out of you. People have given up on you. I don't know who you are, but you are watching me. And as I was just meditating here, the Spirit of God is showing me that somebody is going to be watching right now. If I pray, as I'm talking to you now, I see tears all over you because you know what? People have written you off. When I was talking about the Garden of Eden, you know, how God turned wilderness into a Garden of Eden. See, your life Life look like it's wasted. You feel like you've wasted a lot of age. And right now, in fact, it looks as if you're never going to become anything. You know, your best years, you've wasted it. But I'm here to announce to you today, the blessing has the capacity to pull you, literally to redeem you, to restore to you everything that you have lost. According to the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 25, he's going to restore, he's going to replace, he's going to buy it up, praise God. That's what the blessing does. I want you to wipe your tears. I want you to get back in, in order with God. Get to meet Jesus because he is the secret. The moment you meet him, remember, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law by becoming a cause, for it is written, cause is everyone that hangs under it. So that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Gentile through Jesus Christ. It come through Christ. You have to have a relationship with Jesus. Listen to me. The, the person you need to meet right now is Christ. You need to have a relationship with Jesus. You gotta get to know him. And it's so simple. Just, you know what? Just come the way you are. He loves you very much. In the book of John chapter 17, verse 23, the Bible says the Father loves you passionately just like the way he loved Jesus. And he loves you no matter what. He wants you to take that step and want to come back home. And listen to me. He's going to transfer you from the kingdom of darkness to God's glorious light. Your life will no longer be your life will no longer be controlled by the power and dominion of darkness. You will now be under the blessing. Praise God. God will turn that wilderness, that waste, all that void and dark stuff out there. He's going to turn it into the garden of Eden and the Lord will make you. The Bible says he found Jacob in a wilderness and he made him to ride in the high places of the earth. That's what the blessings of praise God. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody today need to give their life to Christ. I feel the anointing. I believe this is the right place to do this right now. You are watching me. You want this blessing. Jesus is the answer. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming but no man coming to the Father but through him. It is through him that you connect to this Abrahamic blessing. This blessing that has the capacity to transform your life. Around. Why don't you open your heart right now and ask Jesus into your life? Go ahead and say, wonderful Jesus, I repent of my sin. And I believe that God the Father raised you from the dead. And I'm asking you now to come into my heart and I will make you my Lord and personal Savior. If you pray this prayer a minute, I believe with all of my heart that you are born again. Praise God. And you are now qualified to receive the full blessing of Abraham. Praise God. If you pray that prayer, I want you to call the number on the screen today. Praise God. I want to pray with you. I want to be your friend. Let's get in the word of God together. My goodness, I found some few things here that will help both of us. Praise God. Connect with us today because you need the blessing. You need to get off this course life, this dry stuff, and come in the blessing. God love you. You may have failed several times. Your business may have collapsed several times, but this time around, and I'm hearing the Spirit of God say, launch into the deep. You can do it again, but this this time around, the blessing is going to help you do it the right way. And the blessing is going to make you a great success. My God, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost all over me. But one of the things the blessing does, it makes you to rise in the high places of the earth. I want to show you something in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28. Give a photographic depiction of the blessing. As we look at Deuteronomy 28, 1 through
through 14. We're going to look at it. I don't want you to miss any of this episode because there's no how we're going to cover everything today. Today is basically the foundation. We're just getting started. Praise God. But I want you to look at this. Praise God. He said, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Glory be to God. Above all the nations of the earth. That's what the blessing does. The very first time after God created Adam, the very first word Adam ever heard was the word bless. After God created everything, created Adam and rested. The Bible said, and God said to Adam, and the Bible said, God bless him, and it said, be fruitful, multiply, you know, replenish, subdue, and have dominion over everything. God literally give him dominion over everything. And we look at it from the New Testament. In the book of uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verse number 6, the Bible says God has raised us up and has made us to sit in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus. Praise God. Far above all principalities and the powers. Glory be to God. Poverty is under your feet. Sickness is under your feet. Disease is under your feet. Curse is under your feet. You begin to operate in the place that no curse can come close. I don't care who is pronouncing all kinds of negative things. It's you, you, you far above. That's what the blessing does. It carries you like it carried Jacob and made him to ride in the high places of the earth. My God, I especially all of you that just gave your life to Jesus right now. You just entered into a flight that is about to go far above all principalities and power. All the demons in your village chasing you, they are now under your feet. Glory be to God. My goodness, I'm out of time, but not out of word. Next week, you don't want to miss this. is going to be glorious. I love you and I want you to know that Jesus is Lord over your life. Praise God. And I want to thank you for all of my partners that are helping me to take this glorious gospel all over the world. And it's important that you learn how to partner with the gospel, you know, partner with the things of God. Praise God. Whatever leave your hand will never leave your life. It goes into your future where it multiplies. And I want you to consider partnering with this ministry, become a covenant partner to help us take this glorious gospel all over the world. We are literally now all over the world, praise God. We're not just on this particular TV station. We're on so many other TV stations across the globe. I'm telling you, we are reaching all over the world right now. And I need you to support us, to help us to take the glorious gospel. When you plan see today, I want to pray for every one of you that the Holy Spirit is speaking to right now to, to sow into this ministry and become a covenant partner. And I'm asking God to open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that you will never have room enough to contain. And I pray today, praise God, I pray today for God to give you ideas, insight, concept. I pray for supernatural wisdom, the Toshia wisdom, that wisdom wisdom that Abraham had, Isaac had it, uh, Solomon had that wisdom, that wisdom that gives you enduring wealth and prosperity. You've tried every ministry but not this one. Put your seed here and see what God will do with it. I can tell you, the book of Deuteronomy 28 verse number 8 from the New Living Translation, it says a blessing is guaranteed. In your family, praise God, I feel the anointed. Go ahead and support this ministry, become a partner, and watch what God will do with your seed. Jesus is Lord. I want you to watch this. The mission of Samuel Onuaha Ministries is to preach the gospel of Christ around the world. The preceding program was sponsored by Samuel Onuaha Ministries partners and viewers.